Hi, it's uh, Sean Callahan here from Anecdote.com. We often get this question from uh, people who are starting out in storytelling in their organisation. Uh, they, they really see the value of storytelling and how it's important for business, but they just can't get their leaders to buy in or to, to really understand the value of that. And, uh, and so they're, 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 they're struggling to work out how do you convey the value of storytelling to actual the business leaders in, a, in an organisation. Well, we think you know the best way to do it is to actually be the change that you want to see. Um, and that means finding stories in your organisation, and particularly in your organisation actually, because it's, it's more, um, it provides a lot more value and I guess um, more credibility if you can find the stories in your own setting that convey the importance and, uh, if you like, the um, impact that stories can have. And in fact, the reality is uh, leaders in any situation don't want to be boring and don't want to be forgettable. In fact, there's a business imperative that they are not boring and forgettable because they're trying to convey these messages that if, if they don't stick, you know, if you're trying to convey a strategy and the key elements of a strategy and those concepts and principles don't stick, all that effort is for naught. Okay? So it's, it's really important that um, when they say things, especially in a public forum, or in a, in a company forum, that you know, people walk away with a good understanding of what's going on and what they've said. Now, of course, one of the great ways of doing this to, to make things memorable and sticky is to use stories. You know, that's, that's what we're all about and that's what we've seen work all the time. Probably the, the story I use quite often to convey just how important uh, stories are in terms of just being memorable is an experience I had uh, uh, doing some work for IBM. It was about three years ago, I had to give a presentation to the technical sales force. It was at the Intercontinental Hotel in Sydney. Uh, there was about 150 people in, in the audience and the gentleman before me who gave the presentation just before me was an IBM distinguished engineer and he was talking about the issues of privacy and technology. And it was a, a presentation we see quite often in that it had lots of dot points and just jam-packed full of diagrams and lots of information in every slide and he had heaps and heaps of slides. And, and he, he gave a, a good presentation but I had this sort of sense in the back of my mind that key things that he was saying just weren't landing and sticking with the guys in the audience. So when he'd finished, I uh, went over and had a chat to him and I said, look, would you mind if I used one of your slides as sort of an example of the, one of the key messages that I want to convey. He was right up for it. He was, he was sort of a guy that was very interested in all sorts of new ideas and he wanted to improve his presentation capability as well. And, and so I stood up and I said, look, Ken's just given a, a presentation on privacy and, and technology and the core of his presentation were these seven dot points that, uh, you know, were the, sort of the, the crux of his whole argument. I said, without looking at your notes, can you tell me two of those points? Well, everyone sort of went silent in the room and eventually they sort of, um, uh, there was a couple of people taking some sneaky peeks, if you like, at their notes, but not a single hand went up. I said, oh, that's okay. Now, he also told two stories and there was this one example of what HP did. Can anyone remember what happened then? Well, it was like a sea of hands, just all flying up. And, um, and I said, look, that is the difference between, you know, the dot point, provide your argument, just the facts, Jack, compared to conveying a story. It sticks with you. And there's good reasons for it. I mean, one of the key reasons is that when someone tells a story, they remember, they actually see the pictures in their mind. They see what's actually happening as the person's telling the story. It's a pull strategy. Um, and as a result of that, it sticks with you for much longer than those dot points. So I guess I'll just leave that with you. So as if you're trying to convey the value of storytelling to leaders in your organisation, start now by going and trying to find those stories where storytelling has made a difference. And then whenever you have an opportunity to retell that story in front of leaders, um, yeah, do it. Absolutely do it and just keep practising. Anyway, that's, uh, that's our session for today and hopefully um, we'll be able to give you a, a, another session very shortly. Bye for now.